hello gamers. Uh, my name is Dudar, of course, and welcome back once again to the MRTV server. Now I know what you're thinking, geez, it's been two weeks since you haven't put out a video, and all of a sudden there's three. All in, what, the space of about a day? Two days? Something like that. Anyway. I'm just treating you. I'm just trying to make up for the two weeks or however long it was that I wasn't able to put any videos out because I had no internet. And also, with this new internet that I have, awesome fibre optic stuff, I can pop up a video a lot easier now. Which is pretty fun. Now, uh, I'm just going to be boring and mine a load of sandstone from the top of this, what would you call it, hill, dune, mountain? thing in the middle of the desert, just because I need it for the current challenge, the current build. Uh, the theme over there seems to be the sort of pale yellow of these colours and the vendor stone, uh, and I might even have to start incorporating some birch wood pretty soon, um, as well as dark reds, you know, your nether bricks, that sort of colours. I have to see if I can find any other sources of dark red that I can use. Maybe mix it up with just some red wool. Maybe netherrack, although that's kind of boring. Anyway, uh, this... Sorry, I'm just rambling on, not really knowing where I am. Um, this is the introduction to my latest MRTV vote video. And I know I only put one out a couple of days ago, but that was kind of last week's one, just put up very late. And thankfully, I got a hell of a lot of votes. So I would think I was safe. Although, it turns out in the end that I didn't need it because just what a matter of about an hour ago, uh, Mr. Strange Gecko, who um, you've probably seen featured in a few of my videos. Uh, I've played a few times with him, doing random bits and bobs. Uh, I have a really cool outtake from the last load of the server, which I may well stick onto the end of this video, depending on how long it is, or just upload it as a separate video altogether. A little short one, because it's pretty funny, I quite liked it. Um, so yes, I might do that as a little homage to him because he got prematurely evicted today. He basically he kind of built but not didn't build. He basically used an ingenious device of pistons to build out of stolen diamonds that he'd stolen from the American team. He built his big logo. I don't know if you can see these over here, SG. He sort of spammed these up all over the place. It's getting a bit ridiculous, and I have no idea how much longer they're going to stay up for. I think a few people are a little bit angry at him, especially for stealing. No one likes stealing. Um, but basically, he built this logo, the SG, out of diamond blocks that he'd stolen from the American teams, who had received those as a reward for winning the last challenge. And he built it over spawn. Now you can't place blocks in the spawn area uh, because it's like admin protected on the server side. But he used ingenious invention of using pistons to push the blocks out into the middle of spawn. It's kind of clever if you ask me, but Nemson, the god of the server and the general head honcho of MRTV has decided that is beyond the rules, breaking the rules, and he's out. So Gecko has been blacklisted. He is gone. He is, I believe, only the second person to be actually evicted from MRTV. The first person being Tombius. Interesting. Um, oop, oop. So yes, uh, all sorts of things have been happening. And because Gecko's been evicted... No one else needs to be evicted. So my last MRTV vote video uh, doesn't actually need to be counted. So, you know, thank you for clicking like if you were one of those lovely people who did so. 
and please do it again on this video. Basically, that was your practice, that was your warm-up, and this is the serious one. And of course, there will be MRTV vote videos posted every week. So if you can come back here every week and vote on my videos, that would be awesome. I have a feeling, however, that I probably don't have much longer in this competition. Uh, I believe that all of the Americans voted on my video in order to keep me in the competition and in order specifically to remove Gecko from the competition. I don't think they liked him very much. I mean, he did steal their diamond, so that kind of makes sense. There's been all sorts of quote-unquote pranks and uh, unauthorised visits to each other's bases and that sort of thing. I mean, I don't mind people coming and dooring my base. I mean, I haven't really got much there. But anyway, whatever. Some people do mind people going there. Um, but it's kind of the nature of the show, and I don't know where I stand on it. Anyway, I have a feeling that all the Americans voted on my video to try and remove Gecko, and I doubt that they will do the same this time. So I'm going to have to go on some kind of marketing spree to try and find myself enough votes to stay in it next week. Anyway, uh, so yes, collecting all the yellow. I've collected a whole load of netherrack from the nether. I didn't record that because that was a little more scary. I needed to keep my wits about me because I had ghasts flying around and blazes and wither skeletons appearing. Uh, and so this will all go towards the build area that I can show you on the other side. And welcome back to the other side. Now, this area, as you may or may not recognise, you have your two castles behind you, the blue castle and the red castle, which were our team builds from the previous challenge. Now, as part of this vote video, I need to take part in this challenge. So I need to do a little bit of work, to be honest, quite a bit to get myself sorted. Look at Andy Starr's lovely Amsterdam Hotel. Beautiful. I did help him fetch some clay for that, but not sure that's really going to cut it for my uh, part of the challenge. However, look at this area. This is the PvP arena that's been built. Pretty cool. That's all right. Could have done with being bigger, I think. But hey, what can you do? Uh, that's the end portal. Whoop! Nearly fell off then. Uh, this is the end portal over here. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a square sort of building. It's not much to it. Maybe we can sort that out. And these uh, stone archways that you can see around the outside, these stone brick archways, uh, were made by Gecko. And I think they're really cool in terms of shape. Really like the shape of them. I like this little sort of half arch in the corner, which is effectively the main entrance. I think that's pretty cool. However, it's the material that they're made out of. Uh, someone else has already pointed out that the stone brick sort of blurs in the stone brick behind it of the castle. So I figured I'd change the material of it to something else. And seeing as the arena is made out of the smooth sandstone and the nether brick, I would change that into the same colours, the sandstone and the nether brick. Uh, I built these wooden archways coming out just as a sort of idea of what I could do with it. And I quite like the idea of some of the archways coming in. Put a little bit of dirt around to show where they would join up. Because I'm kind of standing on it so you can't really get a very good idea of it if I run over here again. Yeah, you can see I've kind of put the archway across to join up to the arena. Which I think is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the stone for the sandstone. 
and put nether brick for the wooden arches. Uh, and that's basically what I'm going to do. And from that I can see what else I might want to do. I'd quite like to change some of the wood down here into birch. Again, keep the sort of pale yellow colours. It'd be nice to change all of the fence into the nether fence, nether brick fence, whatever you call it. That hotel is bloody awesome though. Might do a few bits and bobs if Andy will let me, sort of decorating the inside, because that could be pretty cool. I'm, I'm quite impressed with that, it's nice. Um, yes, so that is what I'm going to do. And as always, I will see you on the other side. And welcome back to the other side. Oh, it's lovely here, isn't it? Got all the, the lighting, the beautiful shapes and the sizes in the sky. Beautiful. Um, please excuse my slightly raspy sounding voice. It is just gone 20 past one in the morning. I'm getting a little tired. Um, so, yes, I have finished the um, changing of the arches to sandstone and put in the nether brick arches across the top. Uh, I've left my little dirt walkways, so I should probably get rid of those now. Um, we've also, I don't know who came up with the idea, but we've got a little row of shops over this side. These are little rows of shops. One for each member or contestant, I should say, on MRTV. Uh, now, I didn't have one because at the time of building, I was without internet and not uploading, and people thought I wasn't part of it. But, seeing as Mr. Strange Gecko has been evicted prematurely, I've taken his. I hope you don't mind, Gecko, if you're watching this. Um, should be alright. It's kind of waste, not want, not, isn't it, I suppose? Um... So yeah, it's, it's, this build is very nearly done. We've just got to finish off our shops each, tuck the place up a bit, make it light up better, because as you can see, there's bloody mobs everywhere. There's normally a few hanging around in here, but look at him. No, go away. The amount of times he's blown our bloody stuff up, it's not even funny. So I think I'm going to go on a, a torch spamming frenzy. Um, and also if I get time I might sort out these stairs I'd quite like them to be the same colours the, the yellow and dark red mm, not sure, I'll think about it anyway, that's something I can do at last minute I was just going to get rid of my dirt Whoop. that should be all of it I hope uh, and yeah, my, my shop happens to be the middle one, the one with the nice little roof and stuff. That's because I've taken it from Gecko, and Gecko did most of the work for that. I've just kind of I don't know, straightened out a little bit, put a few chests of random stuff in here. Nothing particularly vital or anything. Um, little chest here for people to leave payment. If So if you take anything out of here, just leave me something in there. Try and make it of equal value. Don't just fill that chest full of rotten flesh and stuff. That'd just be annoying. Uh, got me anvil up here. Anyone's free to use that. That's fine. Yeah. It's all pretty much done, I think. So, based on that, I will leave this endy bit of video here. Let's get something better than a bit of dirt out to be holding. Good. So, as I mentioned earlier, this is my latest MRTV vote video. Uh, the most, sorry, the least likes of all of the MRTV votes from all of the contestants will be the person who will be evicted and will be blacklisted, taken off the server and no longer able to make MRTV videos. And I quite like making them. It's a good introduction for my YouTube channel. Um, and it's good practice, start learning stuff, learning how to make videos um, and how to 
try and get likes and views and stuff. And I've got to meet a good few friends here. It's good fun. So I would very much like to stay on the server. So if you want to drop me a like, please go ahead. I will be more than grateful. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.